Alrighty, what is up everybody? My name is Xericle. Today we'll be dropping you a brand new video. Today will be a tips video for you guys to get how to get uh, 7 kills per game about. Yeah, 7 kills. A lot of kills basically in general. So this is what I mean guys. So I'll be teaching you how to get those kills in your lobby. Alright, before the video starts everybody, if you're enjoying, please leave a like and subscribe, and subscribe if you're new, and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. And drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Drop a like right down there. Should be right below, bottom, right below on the right side. It should have a like and dislike. And there's a subscribe button right below it. Alright guys, so if we can reach about two likes this, this video, that would be really awesome. So let's get into it so starting off with the video now I would like to say guys this is these tips are very easy to master yes they're they don't take much time to master and yeah oh yeah guys I forgot to add this but what I mean by number one there's another one that I forgot to mention but it was pick color rarity over what people say so what this means is you gotta if there's a blue burst and you see a green AR, you gotta pick up the blue burst, cause you never know that one damage or two damage might actually count one day for you guys, so yeah, I think blue burst do 28 damage or 27, I don't know, but you guys can figure it out on YouTube, or on the web or reddit, I don't know, you guys, you, you guys can figure it out, I'm not gonna do it, but that is a short clip for you, that show you what I meant, the second part of the tip number one, alright, Enjoy the video. Alright, so starting off with the first tip. Analyze your situation, guys. Yes, analyze your situation. Now, not many people understand that they that you should analyze your situation. Because that is really important wherever you're going. Analyze whatever what's around you, what's below you, what's above you, and what's around. Basically, in 360 direction, what's around you. So... Analyze your situation. You gotta remember where that guy is that you see in Delta Towers. You you gotta go fight off someone that's shooting you first, and then you go kill him. So you gotta put everything in your head, and then remi and then put that in your head and re remember where those people are, and then remember everything that you can find, like everything, almost. All right, so now I don't know what I should pick the p90 or the Or should I pick the drum gun p90 or drum gun? So I don't know I feel a lot more comfortable with the drum gun, but it's definitely worth trying the p90 because just because the, the drum gun does more damage but the the p90 has more speed on the spray so I don't know you guys let me know in the comments which is better and yeah so I don't know whether I should use a heavy Oops, my bad my mic just fell on the ground on me uh heavy hold on need just my mic okay heavy or double barrel the or the aka the new gun so I like the heavy I feel a lot more comfortable with it or should I use the or should I use the double barrel I don't know guys I haven't used a double barrel much I just don't like it but I don't know I might try it a lot more all right so we're moving on to tip number two line of tilt towers yes guys tilt towers is the best place for skill development so what, what I mean by this is you'll get better at building rushing pressure uh, aiming and everything except for material because that place has no material and also guys always here's an extra tip for you this is not a killing tip but this is a this is a survival tip always get the furniture furniture gives you a decent amount of wood and by the time you you mine one room you'll get about 50 50 material or at least 23 so I, I do this a lot I get about a hundred at the start of the game good enough for me to rush someone that's right across from me and yeah so Toto Towers yes guys I'm not joking Toto Tower is the best place for all situations 
Till you know what? Okay, stay in tilted until you get a lot of kills. Yes, guys, if you're a pro or you're just a newbie starting out, always try your best to rush someone. Rush someone. So, guys, if you actually survive, oh, I think my mic just cut out, didn't it? Right. So I'm gonna hold it here. So if if you you get managed to get a lot of kills and tilted, stay there for a little bit, and when you know it's clear, make a rotation to the middle of the circle. That's where you find the most people. You'll definitely find tryhards and pro players in the middle. That's where they mainly go to get their kills because they know that they can find everybody the best in the middle. Because you can see a decent decent amount of, of like view around you. So, moving on to tip number three. Make sure to stretch your screen. That way the bodies are bigger so you can aim better. So what I mean by this, guys, is you can stretch your screen like this. So like this guys so it's basically uh, okay it doesn't show but so getting into the last tip guys this is number six this will be the last tip for you guys of the day and hopefully this will help a lot you might already know this but this is mainly for newbies that want to get a lot of kills but number one and number two are mainly for pros all right so, number six, make sure to pick on the winner of a build fight. If you're watching a build fight from afar, and whoever's the winner, and they're healing in a one by one at the bottom, you want to pick on them. Pick on the winner, because you know they're low health. Whenever they build a one by one, you know they're healing right away. Because that, that's the only thing they would do after a build fight, unless they're looting. But I doubt that. But that could happen, though. So... Make sure to pick on the winner of a build fight when he has, but don't use all your ammo. If you have no, if you have really low ammo, like less than 200 and two rockets, uh, and basically 200 on low, 200, less than 200, don't use your ammo because that will be a really bad waste of ammo. So use your pickaxe. I suggest doing that or clinger them from every direction if you have clingers, and yeah. Because you know their low health and splash damage does quite a bit. So, yeah guys, that's the end of the video. And I really hope you enjoyed. Please do a like and subscribe. So I know you're enjoying these videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Actually no, Hexerical signing out for today. And peace out. Bye bye.